we grow up and we have this thing called language and you know it's just kind of one all this stuff and then uh, if you're a writer you just kind of form it into something a story that has meaning or something this after the mold is made and the wax is made and then it goes to the foundry and then it comes back from the foundry all the pieces have to be welded together that I sectioned off and then it has to be uh, then you have to do the metal finishing which is another whole process so basically when you make a sculpture like this you're making it three times you make it in the clay you make it in the wax and you make it in the bronze this clay is really beautiful when it's warm weather because it just you can easily Buy it. It's really flexible. If you do like tiny little bumps, uh, it reflects the light differently when it's metal. I mean, it, it'll reflect the light in clay too, but in metal it's even more because metal uh, can be it's yep. harder and more shiny. And to me, this negative and this negative and that negative are just as important as what's positive. Everybody likes to look at a face, and uh, I think in this instance it's better to have it faceless and more abstracted. Again, it's it's a it's a choice that um, it's it's kind of hard to get away with a hybrid like that, but I think I got it to work. I don't know.